finishing off my makeup I'm off to London this morning I am on the hunt for something to wear to our friend's wedding in a few weeks time and I know I definitely want to try on some things from Reformation, Realization, Rixo and I'd rather just go to the stores and try things on rather than ordering loads because I don't quite know exactly what size I'm going to be what the styles I'm going to like so I thought I'd bring you with me I you know I've been really I've been really wanting to make more reels and even upload onto YouTube Shorts. I remember when YouTube Shorts became a thing and I said, oh, I'll never, you know, what's the point? We have Instagram. But now I'm coming around to the idea. Because YouTube is my main outlet, I never really, unless I say, right, I'm going to specifically film this thing, I just never get around to posting shorts and reels. Yeah, as I was sat here doing my makeup, I thought, actually my everyday kind of go-to makeup would maybe be a good one to start with. I'm excited that I finally get to show you Skin and Me's new SPF that they bought out. They sent me a they sent me a sample a few months back and it was very hush hush, don't tell anyone, don't show anyone. Um, and I've been using it ever since. And then the other day I got the full size version. I'm very pleased to say I'm working with them again this year, although lots of you all know that for, I was probably using them for about a good year and a half before I ever worked with them. Their Daily Doser is one of my holy grail products. It is one of my desert island items. I use it every evening without a shadow of a doubt. I'm very fussy about what I put on my skin. I mean, I, I say I'm fussy, my, my skin is very fussy. There are very few SPFs that I get along with. Before I started using this, I had a couple of SPFs that I would go between. I would have one for days where I was makeup free and um, because it was quite oily and my makeup would slide around. And then I had another that I would wear when I wore makeup. And this is the best of both worlds. Oil free, SPF 50, broad spectrum, high protection. Maybe I'll show you now on my hand because I've already applied it to my face, but it's not super thick it's just the perfect okay i've put way too much on my hand there um, but it is the perfect balance between feeling nourishing it doesn't make your skin tight but it also doesn't make it greasy it's an oil free formula look how nice that makes my skin look so it looks great when i'm having a makeup free day but it also looks great underneath my makeup and if you're unfamiliar with their daily doses they are formulated specifically towards your skin goals. For me it was acne and reducing my acne, for you it might be something else. They make sure to check in with you, see how you're getting along, make any tweaks that you need to make to your personalised formula. A customer service is just fab, you can always get hold of someone, they will always answer your questions, always have nothing but good things to say about them. I need to get myself dressed now but I will leave my link and discount code in the description that will get you a free trial of your first daily doser for 4 99 and you can also get a free sample of their new SPF. I'm going for ease and comfort today. I was going to wear jeans but I thought actually go for the dungarees because they'll be comfy and easy to change in and out of. You know summer's well and truly here when the dungarees are back out. I wore them yesterday and I'm wearing them again today. I'm going to go for this bag. Let's stick my converse on. Reformation. There's lots of dresses I want to try in here. Hopefully I can find something in here. This is quite... Is 
shopping experience, everything in store is just um, to look at, you tell the people who work here what you would like to try on and they get it ready and put it into your changing room for you. They also have these screens here so you can flick through the different styles and ask them to bring you some more to try on if you please. I feel like this could look really lovely but it's a really odd shape on me. It's, it's too big around my bust chest area um, which is the case for most um, for most things but it's got this got this ruche in here which kind of reminds me of maternity wear obviously I wouldn't wear a black bra with it but it's too big at the back as well the crisscrosses are cute I don't like this it's like a really high cow neck they have another style of this um, this this one here I might see Wow, this is a little bit fancy. I'm gonna wait for the other one. I don't want to get changed in case she brings the other dress and I haven't got any clothes on. This one's really sweet as well. Do they have my size? Ooh, they do. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it, I'm going to get changed. I really like this dress. It feels very sound with music. I'm having to puff my chest out to keep the top up because it's too <laughs> it's too big around my boobs. You see the back? I don't like this. I think it would be so lovely if I didn't have that. If it just had a panel of fabric rather than these elastics. I think this would, I think this would be gorgeous. This isn't an option for the wedding, but I've been eyeing up this denim dress for um, quite a while now. I kind of feel like it needs pockets. I don't know where to put my hands. This feels very me 10 years ago. I usually struggle with dresses being too long. I have to say, their mini dresses are mini, which makes me wonder if you're quite tall, whether they'll be too short. I can't lift my arm up without showing my bum. I don't think it does much for me. I think it's a no for me. I really wanted to like this, but yeah, something just doesn't quite, something's not quite working. I'm excited to try this one. One dress on. One dress off. I'm going to adjust these straps. I'm going to take my bra off as well. It feels very strange having it this low down. Um, it's quite a good fit. I do like the colour, although this feels way too dressy for me. I know, but it's a wedding, isn't it? And then I guess I could just get some little brown heels and it will kind of do the trick. It does need to be taken in ever so slightly around the waist at the back. This is a contender. This is very out of my comfort zone. I love spaghetti straps like this. I think this neckline is beautiful, but on me, I feel very self-conscious because I have the boniest chest. Okay, this is a contender. I do like this. Oh wow, this is definitely a look with the socks. I'm going to take a picture of this, um, and then I think we're going to try. I'm going to try this on. So I thought this was a very sweet um, mini version. They don't have my size in, but I just wanted to try this on and I'll have to hold it in at the back. I'm not sure if the blue washes me out, um, but it's a, it's a really sweet dress. This dress is so gorgeous. However, the cup situation is not working. You do it up with these cute bows. Let me show you this dress without um, flashing you. Oh, it's very leggy. Hello. I feel like this situation is not going to work. Am I going to accidentally flash someone? That is the question and that is not the vibe I'm going for at our friend's wedding. I don't want to be flashing someone's family member. No, but these aren't the kind of dresses where, where I think, oh, I'll just buy a few and see how it goes. Like, these are spenny and I'm treating myself here. This fabric is, the lighting's not great in here, but it is just like the prettiest green print. 
just wish I could change this top. This is just a bonus one because I had been tempted to get the red one for a long time and then it, it sold out the other day. Um, but they have the yellow version of this dress that I love. See, I would definitely get this taken up. I think I would actually want it in the two, which is six, UK six, rather than a rather than a zero because it's quite tight around my bum. I don't really think this type of yellow is my colour. The straps need loosening a little bit, but I can't be bothered to um, try and do that. So imagine this slightly lower. I don't love the pink and the print in general. Yeah, no, this, <laughs> this one's a no. This one's definitely a no too. It's such a sweet linen dress. It has the ties at the back, which I love. I actually wanted to try on the green one, but they didn't have the green in my size. Last one to try on, I actually didn't pick this out, but she just bought it. She bought it to me anyway. I'm gonna try it on, but I don't think it's really my cup of tea. I do actually really love this dress, but I just, I don't need it. I don't need it. I haven't even done this one up. I don't like it. I, I mean, <laughs> it's still a little bit baggy on me, but yeah, it's just, you, you can't really see it in this light. I don't like it. Not for me. I ended up being in there a really long time. I'm starving. I've just spotted a Joe and the Juice across the road. So I'm going to go grab myself some lunch. <laughs> I can't hear myself when I have these on. I'm headed back to the station now. Just try not to get run over. You know, you see people post these cute, quick outfit videos on Instagram. They prop the camera up in somewhere out and about and they just quickly show that outfit. Well, I was trying to find a spot to do that and um, I'm not sure how it went. Probably won't end up on line at all. notes for coffee and I grabbed myself a piece of cake too and it's been a long time since I've had a coffee from here um, last time we came we sat in and had food and um, I really recommend it so it's got good coffee good food it's on St Martin's Lane if you are in the area and I am stocked up on goodies because I still have half of my sandwich in here and then I also have a piece of cake which I just got from here um, it's the, I think it's courgette, vanilla and pistachio, something like that. the record I bought him two Christmases ago now. Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> it is Sunday. We have skipped today because we were both so tired yesterday because we had a really late night on Friday. We had a really lovely morning and afternoon. We ventured out, did a few bits in town. We found somewhere to get cake. I had my favorite. There's this place that does this orange blossom cake, but it is the fluffiest, spongiest cake. It is my favorite. I tell everyone about it. It's so good. And Doug had a big old slice of carrot cake. It's one of these cafes that do really good portions. They're millionaire. Are they millionaire? You know those the shortbread with the caramel and then the chocolate? A chunk of it is about this this big. Came back, got ready, headed out because um we were meeting up with Doug's friends and his sister's friends. They'd booked room for all of us to um go to. So Lila was with my mum, just me and Doug this afternoon. We had a very chilled one yesterday. Actually, it's a very chilled one again today. I spent this morning 
finishing off a vlog and getting that uploaded and that's ready to go live this evening and I'm already I'm not bothered with my hair today because it's hair wash day and I'm having one of those weeks where you know every time you style you know every time you style your hair and it just drops out I'm having one of those weeks like sometimes it stays in perfectly and other times I do it and then and half an hour later it's all dropped out in an attempt to not wear dungarees every day of this vlog I have actually put jeans on for the first time in a long time actually and then this top is just from H&M it's actually it's really soft and comfy Doug is currently outside in his in his crocs and his joggers doing some organizing of the outhouse here's the birthday boy well two days ago joined the uh, joined the 30s club <laughs> We are going to pop to, I'm going to go to one of our um, go-to coffee shops and we get some lunch and then, <laughs> what playlist is this? Just, just been listening to Cleese. My milkshake brings all the dogs to the yard. They sell vinyls and they have a 20% off sale this weekend. So we're going to go have a little look in there. Other than that, no other grand plans today. I think you want to go to B&Q, don't you, for strimmer things. Cable, streamer cable. I want to maybe hunt down some strawberry plants. <laughs> Billy Martin vinyl. This is her new album. And now we are on our way to being cute. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who knew there were so many different types of cables? Well, Which one do we need? I don't need the spool. Oh, vinyl and spool. I'm always really impatient when it comes to these things. It took us ages to find it as well. <laughs> we couldn't find the section that these were in. I love the smell of geraniums. They remind me of my grandma's garden. garden. Potting shed. Um, do you have 11 grand? No. Isn't it? Yeah, I feel like we're going to get in trouble for being in here. Let's go. Oh, you're out again, oh, he's right? looking at me though. There's a man in there. He's going to try and sell it to us, and we don't have the money for a 12 grand shed. Yeah, yoga studio. Oh, 20 grand? <laughs> 25, it looks like. How much is this one? 36. 36. We could get another house for that. Or deposit for another house anyway. So we came to another garden centre. Still no strawberries. But I did, did pick up this. Did pick up this poppy plant. Somebody fast. I my stranger. There's definitely things that I could be doing inside the house, but it seems a shame to not make the most of this lovely sun. I have a few bits in the greenhouse that desperately need repotting, including Delilah's pumpkins, which are have completely outgrown this. I'm going to split these up. Put them in some pots I bought. So once it's big enough, we'll um, pot this on into its final position and we're gonna put them into the beds. We need to tidy them up, but put them into the beds that are here. I don't know if you can see them. The hope is she will grow her own pumpkins to carve. Things like these hollyhocks. I'm going to need to thin these out and probably very soon get these transferred into one of these larger pots so that they can keep growing and um, before I put them outside. These sunflowers are doing really well. Everything's growing so quickly now it's warmed up. Last weekend was a busy one and it was a nice weekend. It was just, yeah, it's just nice to take things a bit slower. This, this is probably going to be me for the rest of the afternoon. Other than that, I need to wash my hair this evening and that's about as 
exciting as it's going to get. Making banana bread because we've got some very ripe bananas that need using up. Most of you will know I've been using this exact recipe to make banana bread for years. It is the best. It is my favourite recipe to use. So if any of you want to make this, I will leave it in the description and it will have all the ingredients and instructions there. I think these are probably the ripest bananas I've ever used. <laughs> didn't, didn't take much mashing. Timer set for one hour. So whilst that's in the oven, I'm going to get some editing done. Perch you there. I made myself a coffee. I'm gonna try my best to get this video done and ready for this weekend. I had a really productive couple of days at the start of the week. Um, you know when you're just really, just everything's flowing. You're just really kind of in, in the, um, what's the word? You're in the mindset. It's been really lovely spending lots of time with Delilah because it's been half term. Um, and then when she's kind of doing her own things, that's why the computer is still down here because when she's doing her own thing, then I can just sit here and get a bit of editing done. Whereas if my computer's in the office, it's really it's quite secluded. If I'm gonna go up there and edit, I'm very much secluded from her. It has been a few days since I last saw you. I mean, it's, my weekly vlogs, if I vlog on four days or more, that's a weekly vlog for me. I've technically filmed over the course of the week. I just, I've missed a couple of days. Doug took Delilah swimming this morning. She's been really enjoying going at the weekends. I often go and watch them, but today I decided to stay here because I had, I had, a, I had an early morning Pilates class booked and I ended up leaving after 10 minutes. I mean, I'm due on any minute and I just think it, my PMS, I woke up this morning. I've slept really well the last couple of days and today my alarm went off and I thought, oh no, I'm sleeping really well, I just want to stay in bed. And I think I probably should have just stayed in bed because um, I got myself to class and I just didn't feel good. My joints and my muscles and just everything, they just, I didn't feel good. So I just left, you know, sometimes you have to listen to your body and, I just, I left, I think it was the best thing to do. I came home, I had a nap, woke up, I had a waffle with a load of Nutella on top, a coffee, and I felt so much better. And this afternoon we're off to, we're gonna go and pop in and see Doug's parents because um, they've just got back from their holiday. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I, I bought myself a second hand mm -hmm. iPad. I really wanted the option to be able to annotate thumbnails and um, do some doodles and put them up within the vlogs. I didn't want to spend a fortune on a brand new iPad just for that. Um, and I, I, can't, I can't use Delilah's, which is mine from 2010, um, because it's too old. I've said this before, so old it won't let us do any more updates on it. We can't, like, she can't use half the apps that she used to have on it. And it isn't compatible with Apple pens. Yeah, so I just found this, it's, um, what, where did I find it? I'm not sure what, I'm not sure which website I found it on, but I got it, it, got, it was delivered the next day, um, and it's generation six, um, which is only 2018, but in terms of all the different generations that they bring out year after year, it's technically still quite an old version, but it does the job. Actually, I need to find, <laughs> I need to find my headphones. I'm gonna put my headphones on so I can hear the sound properly, uh, make sure that's all good, probably watch it one more time. Uh, will I finish this by the time we need to leave? Probably not. Let's see how much I can get done now. And then, then we'll go see Nana and Fox, yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna let that cool down. 
make our way to dog's parents. I was thinking we could take this with us, but it's, um, I don't think it's gonna have quite enough time to cool down really. I always know how to pick the best angles. Hang on, bear with me a minute. Let me just pop these away. Popped this jumper on and I forgot how much this sheds everywhere. I'm going to take these three, oh no, actually, four. <laughs> I forgot, hang on, I'll get it. It's just over here. I've got these four dresses that I want to take to get taken in, taken up. Take these out so they remind me to take them to the seamstress. Let's change this angle. I also don't know why I thought it was a good idea to pull everything out of the chest of drawers earlier, thinking, oh, I, I because everything's just become so jumbled and I need a better system. I can't figure out a system where all my t-shirts and pants get mixed up together. Anyway, I thought it'd be a really good, good idea to put it, pull it all out and organise it and it's got to the evening and I thought I don't want to do that. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to order one of those reformation dresses. I'll take both for this and flannel one. This one? I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I've reached that point in the month where I'm flustered. I feel irritated. I don't know why, I just, it's just hormonal. <laughs> this dress I found recently, I'll just take it off there. But this dress I found on Depop, it's a, I think it's a fairly recent and other stories dress, um, but it's a size 38, is that, I don't know what size that is, is that a 10? I bought it knowing it was going to be too big for me, so I'm just going to, I tried it on and it's too long and it's um, too big. Um, around here and on the side so I'm gonna have it taken in at the sides and taken up on the skirt. I can either wear this with a t-shirt or I'm I might wear it without because I don't know if this will it's quite thick so I'm not sure if it would look good with a t-shirt. The yellow dress that I tried on in Reformation is the style that I tried on that I wanted in the red and I've I found an equivalent to that dress very similar equivalent to that dress in and other stories but they had sold out and then I found it on Depop. I know everyone is obsessed with doing their their seasons, their colour palettes, their uh, his PMS brain. I don't know, They're, you know what I mean, their, their, their seasons, their colours. Yeah I've always thought that I look good in bright reds but warm reds. This is a slightly cooler red than I would wear but it's not too, it's not too blue. It's a little bit, there's a little bit of warmth to it. So I always think reds and warm yellows. Again, this dress is like slightly greenier than I would wear, but it, I think I can get away with it. And things like um, like this kind of lilac-y, bluey colour, browns. Browns and greens tend to be go-tos for me as well. I don't actually know what my season is. I think, I think I'd be like a summer or a spring. So I'm gonna get that taken in and I'm really looking forward to wearing that. This, I have had this for two years and I've not worn it because it doesn't quite fit. It's just a little bit too long in the waist. It's, the arms are a little bit too long. There's just a few tweaks and then I think I'll be happy in it. Um, it's just definitely made for taller people and I am not taller people. And this will be my backup dress for our friend's wedding in a couple of weeks, however, this is also completely see-through, so trying to figure out what to wear underneath it is proving really hard. Don't mind Delilah, she's just cleaning her teeth. And then I want to take these two dresses as well. I've had this dress, this is from Free People, I've actually got a blue version too, but this is a suede, a red suede dress. Again, I really wish it was just a shift shape or the V was at the back. But yes, I've got this dress, I've had this since our old place. Um, so over five years, so I need to get it taken in. Um, so I might take that and see if they can do that because I would really, it's such a nice piece and I would really like to be able to wear it. And then this is a dress that I bought last year from And Other Stories and it's just a little bit too, it's it's meant to be mini and it's just it's slightly longer than mini on me and I, like it doesn't feel like a cool mini dress, it just feels a bit meh. Where was I going with that? Yeah, do, I don't know what to do about, um, I don't know whether to order one of the reformation dresses that I tried on, that green one, the green linen one. I have really awkward feet, um, I have quite wide feet, I've always had flat feet. I find it really hard to find shoes, especially heels, to fit my feet. But I found these on ASOS, they tie up around your ankles and then you can do a little bow um, on the front or the side or the back and again these would look this would these would look nice with this yellow dress um, and also the green dress that I tried on. Just made even more of a mess in here. 
I will do all that later. Whilst dinner cooks, I thought I would pop in here and water some of the plants. It's been a few days and they're all looking like they need a drink. Let's give you a full view of the uh, current fit. I mean, there's only one word for this. Fashion. Yes. Oh, everything's grown so much. I've, I've got some major, major repotting to do. It's that time of the evening. The sun is starting to go down and it's always such pretty lighting. Our dinner's going to be ready in a minute. We're just having sausage and mash. And then I'm definitely going to, I got some ice cream on the way home. I mean, we have lots of ice cream in the freezer, but I just wanted vanilla ice cream. So I've got some nice Hagen dazs vanilla ice cream. Gonna have that with a scoop of, sorry, oh, it's got very windy in here. Let me close that a second. Um, yeah, I've got some Hagen dazs vanilla ice cream. I'm gonna have that with some banana bread. That's it really, I feel like I haven't really got, I could, I could vlog a little bit tomorrow, but I just feel there's, there's really not much else to vlog. Um, it's half term, I'm spending a lot of it with Delilah, but I hope you have enjoyed this one. Lots of fun um, going to London together and trying on dresses. I wish I had had more time to try go to some other shops because in my head I was going to go to loads and then I ended up just going to the one. I would definitely go to Reformation again and it was a really nice experience. I think probably because I went first thing in the morning well it, mm, it was like half 10 when I got there and I mean they, uh, they don't open until 10 o'clock so it was very quiet in there. It probably would be it probably wouldn't be such a um calm shopping experience had it been the weekend. I would like to try some other bits on. They had some really, so I don't mind these, I just reach over. They look like they had some nice shorts and jeans and knitwear and tops and things. Taking Delilah to go see Little Mermaid, the new Little Mermaid film at the cinema tomorrow. So that will be nice. I can hear my phone alarm going off now. So I'm definitely going to go. Thanks for watching. Big thanks to Skin and Me for sponsoring the vlog. Don't forget my link and discount code will be in the description. And um, I will see you very soon.